So welcome back to Bummer Town. We've got this module to stick in. Um. Okay, let's go check the computer. And oh, wait, didn't we do this one before? Oh, no, we didn't. we go. Um, that one was hard. Um, so if we do this one first. Okay. That's not what I meant to do. Ah, so part of the logic module has been fixed. Let's go and take a look at that. Um, I don't want to do that yet. So let's uh, go out. I don't want to see something. That one was nowhere near as hard as that one. I don't know why I couldn't figure that one out. Don't tell me you didn't consult the walk. Okay, no, I didn't. And you say the same thing. Ty Denzel, Denzel. Let's see what Denzel has to say. Hello. Oh, tell me you have a metal detector. Yeah, I want it fair and square. What about it? Could I borrow it? Um, not gonna be able to do that. If you want it, you'll have to beat it out of me? Why are you so aggressive? Because the next tournament is in five years. And I don't have any possibilities to sharpen my sp sparring skills. I used to get into bar fights all the time, but now it's all shut down. Okay. Alright, keep it. Keep it 100. Okay, that's what I need it for. So I gotta open the bar so all the nightlife can happen. Got it. So let's open this back up and get the nightlife going. And out we go. So I'm. Oh, hello. That moon is so weird. Oh, hello. Hey, Jess. Hey. Mary. <laughs> Isn't your bar still closed? Um, I fixed and turned on the night mode. Well, I'm no techie, as you know, but my bar lights won't turn on. Okay. There's probably some electrical malfunction somewhere. Sugar, would you mind helping me fix it? Sure, what do you want me to do? Why don't you take a closer look at that uh, electrical panel? I'll be back in a moment. Great! <sighs> what? Oh, okay. That's not right. You can't... Oh. Okay, so you have to be green. You have to be red. Okay, it's electricity from there to there. You have to be blue. Lit up, you're lit up, and you're lit up. There we go. I'm so sleepy, I can't even write properly. Okay, so it's on. Hey Jess, hey Mary. I fixed your bar's electricity somehow. Uh, thank you so much, sweetie. Now, after what seemed like an eternity, my bar will open once again. Okay, good. Hey, everybody to the bar. It's open again, okay. Whoa, that's everybody. That's literally every- oh, even the cow.
Come on in. Are you finally calling me by my actual game? Game. Oh, this is disturbing. Hello, Mister. What's good, young blood? So about that metal detector. Look, I'm not gonna give it away for free. Not <laughs> so free, but I got a deal for you. I want to know what shape I'm in. Could you find me three meat bags to beat on? How am I going to force anyone to fight you? Now, you're the toughest guy in this town. Just try to get on their nerves. The biggest potheads in here are Cliff, George, and Mac. Um, make them lose their minds and blame me for it. See you later. Um, hello. Told you. <laughs> Hi. Good evening. I'm surprised that you made it this far. Don't get me wrong, I had no doubt in, in your abilities, but I'm shocked as to how on earth this broken mess of a game allowed you to get to this point. Good luck finishing your quest. <laughs> your bar's packed, yeah. This is all thanks to you. I finally made enough money to get out of this den of savages. Hi, Cliff. Hi, Sunny. I was just telling this young alien from Pluto about that treasure we found. Uh, what a bomb it was. I wonder if my ancestors had buried any more of that treasure around this town. Uh, ask me to tell you something. What's that, Sonny? He says you're so dense that light bends around you? <laughs> that explains a lot. He says you must have been born in, uh, on a highway because that's where most accidents happen. <laughs> How does he know that? I was born because of a highway accident. He says words can't describe your red hat, so he'll just throw up. What? Nobody insults my hat. Nobody. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. Oh, gross. Oh. Okay. Denzel sent me to deliver you a message. Really, what's the message? He said you're proof that even God makes mistakes. Indeed, people around me do look like mistakes. He's also said he's jealous of people that don't know you. <laughs> well, of course he is. The first impression people get when they see me. <laughs> it's an unforgettable experience, once in a lifetime. And he said if he had a face like yours, he'd sue his parents. <laughs> what? How dare he insult God's work of art? Oh my god. <laughs> Now I'll show him what these gorgeous fits can do. Whoa. He sent him absolutely flying. Dude, are you okay? What do you have to say? Hey. So reptilian hunting ghosts, shh, shh, not so loud. Do you want them to hear us? I can't trust anybody at this far. The reptilians have infiltrated the Bummer Town community. I'm still looking for more evidence, but I'm positive. It's the Illuminati. If I were you, I would flee this town. It's a mirage. I can't talk any longer. Someone's after me. Wow. Hi, crazy cat lady. Is she carrying a toothbrush? Oh, that's her leg. Hello, Miss. How's your army zombie cats going? Hello, precious. Um, rats. I forgot my line. <laughs> Let me look at the script for real quick. Right. I'm at the bar where men ask about the zombie. Aha. Hey. I bought the T virus on the dark net. Got the package and injected my little soldiers with the virus. But nothing's happened. It was just a bottle of cat piss. Ew. Overheard Denzel talking about you. He said people like you aren't the reason God doesn't talk to us. Are the reason. Whatever. He said the last time he saw something like you, he flushed it. <laughs> Me too. He mentioned your mom was cooking belonging in the sewer. What? Okay, I don't want to go all the way over and see that old lady pole dancing. Well... That happened. I gotta finish talking to people. This is weird. Uh, sitting at the bar with a cow. I'm at the bar. That's hilarious. Good evening, Don Cow. Moo. Just moo. Are you alright? You look like you've eaten... I, I ate nine burgers so far. I'm wondering whether they have enough... Oh. My average is 40 a night? Ooh, God. Why are you not at home looking after your children? Duh, beautiful Miss Mayor. <laughs> Bit me from bringing the little people to bar. Sad, but Miss Chicken agreed to babysit little people. Happy. Um. Okay. He's kind of busy dancing and stuffing money behind Anastasia's bikini. Oh, uh, are you pole dancing in here? What does it look like? 
Yes, I'm pole dancing. Since Bedford is gone, the shop's income has decreased drastically. I'm forced into <laughs> doing this just to earn more money. Thank God that four-eyed geek gives me a great tip. Oh, oh my. Are you happy now? I haven't felt so alive in years. That was what I needed to restore my broken spirit. I just promised to take this metal detector now. If you'll excuse me, I need to calm my excitement down. Uh, okay. Um. Could you keep it down with that metal detector? I'm trying to be useless. So, I haven't used it. Okay. That is annoying. Found something. Okay, let's pick it up. Oh, one teleportation part down, two to go. Okay, it still works. Oh. Um. to do. Alright, there's a second part. I think it's the only way I can get there. I can't go in the forest? Yeah, I can. Okay. I have to go in the forest. Those rocks are so weird. Found something. I have found all the replacement parts for the teleportation device. Let's see if I can go in there at night or if I need to um, come back in the daytime. I need to come back in the daytime. Okay. So I'll be back. So I turn it back today. Um, let's see. And. Let me go give him his parts. Oh, you found a coordinate manipulator. Great. Why did you bring it to me? Uh, oh, yeah. The broken teleportation machine, right? Okay. I, oh, what are you giving me this? Oh, yeah. That's the internal memory from the teleportation machine. Um, a hard drive. Oh, yeah. You found the replacement part. Oh, that's all of the placement parts I needed. Hold on a minute while I fix the machine. Okay, the teleportation machine is fixed. Go find Bedford. Okay, this is... Mm, ooh. What the hell? Where did you send them? Send workmen. Oh yeah, workmen into the caves, of course. Why would you do that? You know the caves are unfinished and dangerous in game access. What caves? The workman was supposed to find Bedford, but now they're likely to meet their doom. But that's where Bedford is hiding. Say again. Bedford is hiding in the caves. You knew where Bedford was the whole time? Who's Bedford? Oh, oh that's right, Bedford. Yep, I knew where he was. I even helped him teleport into the caves. Why haven't you told us that earlier? Isn't that supposed to be a part of the game? No. I uh, guess I shouldn't have pretended the teleportation machine was broken. When Wartman came to my house earlier. When did you send Wartman into the caves? Uh, literally a moment ago. I'm not even sure how I managed to get in here so quickly. A moment ago. We don't have much time. We have to prepare everything. Come on, let's go. Oh. Oh, okay, so they're the devs. Better go check if my quesadillas are ready. That took me a second to read that. Um, I guess I better save. Um, right. So I'm going to call this an episode here. Thanks, guys, for watching. Um, we'll come back with the conclusion of Welcome to Bummer Town. We'll see you later. Have a good day. Bye.